What's up? Tinka230 here. I hope everyone's having a great day. Welcome back to the monthly series. What are you playing this month? We're asking you what games you'll be playing in the next 30 or so days to come. Looking at the overall list of games this month, the theme seems to be adventure and puzzle with a smattering of action. So let's check them out. From the Steam description, Stray is a third-person cat adventure game set amidst the detailed neon-lit alleys of a decaying cyber city in the murky environments of its seedy underbelly. Rome's surroundings high and low defend against unforeseen threats and solve the mysteries of this unwelcoming place inhabited by curious droids and dangerous creatures. See the world through the eyes of a cat and interact with the environment in playful ways. Be stealthy, nimble, silly, and sometimes as annoying as possible with the strange inhabitants of this mysterious world. When I first saw this revealed a couple of years ago, I knew that I'd want to play it because it felt very unique. There aren't too many games where you get to play as a cat, at least from what I can remember within the depths of my brain. I hope to be surprised and be led through a visually interesting world and just embody being a cat, being curious while traversing this land. It's out on the 19th, possibly expected on Melly Playful and Tengu. <laughs> choice not to fight and you made it true do you all remember Operation Rainfall? It was a campaign to bring over three Japanese exclusives to the States. One was Pandora's Tower, the second was The Last Story, and the third was Xenoblade Chronicles. Out of all those three, I really wanted to play The Last Story first. That was a pretty good game, but in the end, I really enjoyed Xenoblade. I really liked the scale of the world and the visuals, even though it was on the Wii. While the details weren't exactly super sharp, the art direction more than made up for it. Just thinking about it, we could have missed out on the game, but it's cool it released here, and years later we got Chronicles 2, and now Chronicles 3 is on the way. There's also a Chronicles X on the Wii U, but I'm not sure where that lands with the Chronicles games. I'm excited, and I don't even own a Switch, but hopefully I'll be able to give 2 and 3 a shot whenever I get one. It's out on the 29th. These are alive here! They're not some toys you can just play with! From the Steam description, Lootmancer is a 3D platformer roguelite action game with realistic graphics that takes place in a cyberpunk universe. Players play as a detective who comes back to life after an unexpected death and battle in this lifelike and futuristic city of the East. Visually, the game looks pretty good, and there was a demo for it not too long ago. I think it's still available, so if you would like to give it a shot, you can. It's definitely a game that I would play, but I'd have to see how the roguelite aspect of it is implemented. Maybe I'll give the demo a shot too, but for now, I'm interested, but I think I'll wait. It's out on the 14th. This is a fun game. Let's keep playing. I wasn't sure what to put in the fourth slot this month, but in the end I decided to put the horror game Madison in here. I remember reading about it here and there, but I didn't delve much into the details. So from the Steam description, Madison is a first-person psychological horror game that delivers an immersive and terrifying experience. With the help of an instant camera, connect the human world with the beyond, take pictures and develop them by yourself, solve puzzles, explore your surroundings, and most importantly, survive. Layers of Fear seems to be an inspiration. I hope it ends up being good. It's out on the 8th. And now for some quick hits. F1 22 on the first. Klonoa Fantasy Reverie Series on the 8th. Time on Frog Island on the 12th. Endling Extinction Forever on the 19th. Baron Breakfast on the 28th. Immortality on the 26th from Sam Barlow, author of Her Story and Telling Lies. As Dusk Falls on the 19th. Back to two rock. And we have Escape Academy on the 14th. And for the last slot, I wasn't sure 
what to put as a final trailer as I did with the fourth slot. So let's keep the horror theme going with Mothman 1966, which comes out on the 14th. That should be enough game, so with all that behind us, let me turn my head toward you all and ask, what are you playing this month? That's going to be it for this episode. The list of games is down in the description below. It is not a full list, but most. And remember, some games could still get delayed and new ones could be announced. So if you all made it this far, thanks for watching. And as always, take care and take it to 30 out. All right, y'all. Give on, everybody. Keep smiling. Thanks for the support. And I'll see you next month.